morning. Uh, I've got up bright and early, got my hair cut, as maybe you've noticed. And me and Ash are off to somewhere special, so you'll have to check it out. Then we're off to Eccleston Show. Not Business. <laughs> Good and we ain't car wash really, but anyway, you know what it is. Not really that bothered. Thing missing, isn't there? Oh, where's Mick? Where is Mick, eh? Let the side down yeah. yet again. Can't go. Where could we be going? Ooh, this think. looks new. It's roundabout, isn't it? Just seen a Merlo flying about. So we did see Rob shoot off. You know, Ollie drying his wood chip. This wall is warm. That must be like a, the air duct then that, that blows the, the heat in. You can see we can see the heat coming off it. Difficult to get it on the camera, but um, you can actually see it right. Rob's just uh, filling that trailer up with barley. Is he going to spill any? Not spilt any yet, has he? Under pressure. Well, it gets this sort of pressure off all the way, I'm sure, all the time. Nice one. Ollie's showing us his tractors. Than I expected it to be. This is like 210 horsepower. What a weapon! Oh, look at my air, by the way. Based. Yeah, it does sound nicer, that one, doesn't it? By Porsche. Go faster. I think we had a 1056. Yeah, so not as big as this, Ollie. <laughs> just bringing back memories uh, when we had this 1056. So I had the seat on the back. I spent many an hour sat on that. I remember the PTO, you engage it with this. Yeah, I'd have probably only been like seven or eight when we had one. Not as big as this, but same cab. Does that rev limiter? Like shake, yeah. it always did in our old one. Never, it never stays like stable. It just like. Oh, is it? So, oh, so this, this here always is like rattling. I remember that. Check out a drive shaft on that. Beast. Bling bling, Valtra. With the air horns. It says it looks worse than it actually is. <laughs> oh yeah, it does actually come off. Just needs a polish, Ollie, that's all. <laughs> all these drying floors. Nice. Ollie's got a bit of rape in the corner of the shed. Dryers are out. Jundry combined and drill shed. My car that's mucky ash. At least in Ollie's shed, just waiting him to get for him to get some merchandise. What's this? If you know, let us know in the comments. We'll ask Ollie, and then uh, I'll let you know tomorrow. And we're off. Ollie in the uh, little Yaris. We can hear it purring when it sets off. Is it still on? Got <laughs> here. 
Mr. Blogs Ash, we're all here, and James. Yeah, Dave, that's a really good analogy. TM on the stand, 320S on bib loads. Ollie's been trying to get me to uh, purchase this rake here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to get some behind the scenes uh, footage. <laughs> oh, oh, it's like the Matrix. <laughs> TM 320S was clean. This is what it would look like. What's that, James? <laughs> no, it's on this tractor now. They've changed it now, so it's a 6R 185. It's all changed. Big forager at the back there as well. And a little base. Camera James says that they've... Um, <laughs> says that they've, they've copied Fent and now the, the windscreen wiper goes all the way around. Because um, he's a big Fent man. And uh, he's, he's very annoyed that JCB have done this. Uh, JCB? What am I on about? John Deere? RE Buildings here with the, the with a fancy chicken coop. So we've got the New Holland preparing the track. I don't know if you call it a track when your track's pulling. That's what he's doing. So now it's time for... It's Ollie, Ollie's signing autographs now. Hey? <laughs> right, this one ready now. How it works then? Those things over a hundred meter track. Oh, yeah, you've got the Sorry, calibrated you. sledge behind you with weights in to suit the, the category of tractor in front. Right. So the idea is is to get this sledge as far as possible. Here we go. Two green flags now. Now we're ready. And then if you qualify past the hundred meters in the first run, and they then they have a pull off uh, competition. The uh, sledge is set slightly harder to then define the winner who pulls in the first. All right. Different specifications can only rev to certain amounts, and then the different classes work around these different specifications. So, um, this one's got some limits to the classification that it's in. I stand at the front there, and he's been a mechanic since he's 16 years of age. Is he? Yeah, he's done more on this engine than what he's ever done before. He's a mechanic in the it does, t t how many horsepower did you say this was then? Well, I say it's in between two and a quarter. Two and a quarter? Two and a quarter, two and a half thousand. 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 And it originally was in, um, what is the sort of engine that was in fire engines? You were fire saying, engine, dust carts, yeah. 145 horsepower. So they reckon. <laughs> what was the original engine? Simon and Nays, they used to put them in the dustbin carts in the fire engine, didn't they? Yeah. Tight temp. What were they ever doing? Like one, one, four, five. Ah, one, four, one, four, five. five. Wow. <laughs> It's got some huge disc brakes in the back, which I, which I would never have thought would have been a thing. Disc brakes in the back. Wow. And it, with it being a V8, it, it'll sound immense. So we'll probably get some footage of that later. So they had come from the Netherlands um, and brought a tractor, which, yeah, just shows you sort of the, um, the, the, the competition level that's here that um, people coming from other countries do joining and pull tractors on to next level. So this has four engines on it, but this, this has two engines and each one is 2,000 horsepower. Wow. All the weight at the front just to try and keep it down. Tech screw the wheel, or the so tire onto the wheel, because it had just yeah, we had, we had slip. A with the amount of horsepower against the rubber. Crazy. That, that's a fuel tank and each motor will move, will use six gallon in uh, nine seconds. Yes, nine. The way that the sled works is these wheels here are geared to this way and moves along towards the front to give more 
the sled. So we've got the ground floor that's well. Behind the scenes with Ollie Blocks. <laughs> Look at this big yellow beast up here, though. Muir Hill. Where are they from then, Ollie? You'll know stuff like this. Germany. Germany. <laughs> you must know I'm here. Bubbles going now. I've just been on the bouncing thing. Space opera, I think. I think Ollie, find that on Ollie's channel because <laughs> you've got that. Um, but Ollie's not having a go. How are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought some camera pressure might have just uh, just got you to do it, but no. And Ash wouldn't have a go either, so anyway. It looked like you didn't stop it. <laughs> I know it did, didn't it? <laughs> it says, like, four year old, maybe it's like yeah. box. <laughs> oh no, it's a pig. <laughs> All behind the scenes here with a classic fence. Very proud. James is like buzzing, he's, uh, he's, he's trying to try and bite off him. <laughs> A bit rough. It's awesome. Look at it. With cab window open at the front. <laughs> Based. It's just like something's in the bar. Ollie's having a blast now. We think, anyway. I see his tractor driving skills. <laughs> What's been happening here? <laughs> so the fence, we've said, why don't you put it on the tractor pull? It's come all the way round the show. To make it round to that. James is desperate to drive this fence on the, on the pull. <laughs> it's so <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> right, the it's coming down now. <laughs> Brilliant. What can do? Build a beast flash and split the cross. Here we go. No! Sorry, Greta. Much bigger tractors coming in just for a test run. Uh, and at the minute, it's a, a bit of a fight as to who's be choosing the better option. You'll see in a this second. machine has come from you. Scotland. See, can the team even get it to lead the line? Hopefully they can, because they're pulling for points tomorrow. Let's see what the extreme force can do. from us and uh, Kelsall. I'm saying Kelsall show because you went to Kelsall. Uh, Great Eccleston uh, show. We are back here tomorrow. We are the last cars in the car park. Um, we're going to go and get something to eat and um, maybe have a few beers tonight. Uh, and yeah, catch you all tomorrow. If you've liked today's video, please remember to press the like button and subscribe if you've not already.
Cheers, guys. Oh, Bye. Twist to today's story. We decided to drive, bring James to his hotel room. What have you done? <laughs> <laughs> I seem to have booked a uh, football stadium. He's booked into a football stadium. His bed's in the middle of the pitch. <laughs>